and welcome back to the Word Conscious Classroom, where we are consciously and deliberately building our students' vocabulary knowledge and word consciousness. Today we are looking at eponyms. Eponyms are words that come from the name of a person. The person can be fictitional or real. Here are a few eponyms. Cereal. Cereal actually comes from Ceres, which is the Roman goddess of agriculture. Volcano. Volcano actually comes from the word Vulcan. Vulcan is the Roman god of fire. So we get volcano. Now let's look at eponyms from real people. Braille. Braille comes from Louis Braille. He was a blind French teacher. So that's where we get the word Braille. Now we have Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Gabriel Fahrenheit was a German scientist who invented the Fahrenheit thermometer. Fahrenheit. And we also have Celsius. Celsius. Anders Celsius was a Swedish scientist. He invented the Celsius thermometer. So we have two ways of measuring temperature that are eponyms named after people. And we have the Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel is named after George Ferris. He invented the Ferris wheel in 1893. So that's where we get the name Ferris wheel from. And we also have saxophone. The saxophone comes from Antoine Sax, a Belgian instrument maker. So we named the saxophone after him. So those are examples of eponyms. But did you know that there's something called toponyms? Yes. Toponyms, like eponyms, are words that come from the name of a place. So we have words that come from the name of a person to words that come from the name of a place. So let's see some toponyms. Sandwich. Sandwich is a toponym. It's named after the Englishman John Montague, the Earl of Sandwich. So it's named after a place. Now we have a limerick. And a limerick is the county of Limerick in Ireland. It's a humorous poem of five lines with the rhyme pattern A-A-B-B-A. -A -B -B -A. And that's where we get limerick. It's named after a place. And we have a frankfurter. A frankfurter is a sausage made of beef or beef and pork, and it's commonly called a hot dog. It's named after the German city of Frankfurt. So we get a frankfurter. So there you have it. We just looked at some eponyms and some toponyms. The more you know about words, the better you become at being a wordsmith and understanding the history behind some of our words. Thanks for watching. Until next time.